guys oh hey guys it's big bang 2bm96 and this is my last video of today i said that my last handling video would be the last video but this one but it wasn't this one is because since i'm cleaning their cage soon i thought i would show you guys a nice travel cage or like a cage you could put them in while they're while to stay like while you're cleaning their out their main one so um in this cage it's just really small it's a five gallon aquarium and if you have two gerbils, this is a good temporary home. If you have three, it's getting a bit small. But unfortunately, um, they only make aquariums in like increments of five. And a 10-gallon cage is kind of big because it's a good home for two gerbils. And yeah, and plus it's $30, so it gets a bit expensive. So I'll go out to Walmart eventually and get a make another smaller bin cage for them. But for now, this one will work. And if you notice in here, I have a food bowl. Um, you don't necessarily need this if you're cleaning out their cage because you'll have something else for them to chew on a little bit. But if you're going traveling, you do need a food bowl and you'll want to put a ceramic one in. But since I'm not going traveling and I'm just cleaning, I just put this one in here for like as a substitute, I guess, for the bowl that you'll be using when you go traveling. And it doesn't have to be nearly this big because they shouldn't be in the cage too long. But if you're in the if you're in the car for a few hours, like driving down somewhere, and you bring your dribbles along with you, um, you will need a bowl because they will probably wake up and need to eat. So the next thing that you need is some sort of home for them. And I have this hollowed out coconut that my dad hollowed out using like power drills and chisels and screwdrivers, and it was a big mess. But it does act as a nice home. And it's a good size for two gerbils just to sleep in as a regular place to sleep in, but it does get a bit small for three, which is why it's in here. And I did also make a little indentation here for the thing to go in. It's just because I don't want to have wasted space in here because I want to give them as much bedding as possible. Um, and I also did indent out here. And it is like a little divot in there. So, yeah. And then I also have this, these papers and like napkins and stuff. And it's so that they can take it and put it in here to nest in if they want to. They usually don't because they're usually not long and long. They're usually not in here long enough for them to need to actually make a nest. But it's but if you're traveling, you want to put this in there. And it's just ripped up paper and like tissue napkin stuff. And a good thing that you can do is to shred paper because it's really fluffy and they love it. So I just have a small pile in there. And I have this snack shack log. And this is way too fatty for them to have on a regular basis. But just as a special treat, I put it in here. You want this if they're going traveling so that they have something to chew on and something to run through. And they have chewed on it a little bit but not a large amount and again there's little bedding where it is so it's kind of buried in there so it's more like a real tunnel and it's there for them to chew but it's really fatty so do not give this to them on a regular basis it's really bad for them it's basically just honey so it's like you pouring honey down your mouth and then I also have this thing in here this is what it is it's Vitacraft mini pop and it's just the cardboard that was attached to the top of the bag and um i did buy these i don't know why i think it was just kind of a lapse in judgment because i don't really need to buy treats because i have this container filled with them from the food so this was kind of a waste of my money because my dribbles don't even really like it but you know this is the one good thing about it so it's just a regular flap, but then I decide I made these little like slits through the bedding and I compress this into it and then you just pile up the bedding next to it. So then it acts as like a little tunnel for them to run through. So it's fun for them and they can also chew on the cardboard. And then here it is. They don't like the popped part, but they like it when it's like this, like just a cob and they have eaten a little bit but I don't give this to them on a regular basis either because corn is fatty for them. But they do like to chew on it and it does sort of wear down their teeth. So I keep this in here as another treat just so that they have as much fun as possible in their cage. And then I also don't have, I just, just put it right here by the way. It doesn't really matter where you put it. 
but mine is right there. So I, you would also have some sort of a uh, vegetable or fruit in here that you know that they like because my dribbles don't like carrots, they don't like apples, they don't like beef, which is really weird because most dribbles do like beef and they can eat beef because it's a source of protein. It just has to be unseasoned. They don't like beef. They don't like bok choy. They don't like lettuce. Um, they don't like a lot of things. But the one thing that they do like that I've discovered so far is pepper, like green pepper. So you could just put a small slice of green pepper right here. That's why I left the space here so I could put that there. Or you could put it in the bowl if there, if you have two bowls. And it's pretty good for them because it acts as a water source and if you're cleaning out their cage it just acts as a food source in case they get a little bit hungry which in the car you cannot have a water bottle because sometimes it will it will leak from all the shaking but if you have a four ounce water bottle i said that you need an eight ounce is preferable but four ounces are okay you just have to refill them more so i'm going to show you guys a cool tip that i think i learned on twinsweeks.com that you can do if you have a four ounce water bottle and you're going on a car trip so hold on guys so say that you're cleaning their cage and you decide to put their water bottle here after you clean it i wouldn't recommend that just because it's a bit of a hassle to keep moving the water bottle around but here it is for me and then what you can do while you're in the car if you don't want to store it somewhere oh scratching it is just lay it down on its side like this and just put it on the ground and then take this out and it's a bit hard to do with one hand but you want to just take this out and see it's just the water bottle and then if you this is remember this is if you have a four ounce so you can just take it and then take the nozzle and slide it underneath the wire and then uh, slide it up okay hold on guys i messed up so you want to take you want to take this wire thing out first and this is only if you have an oasis water bottle because i'm not sure if it works with any other ones because the like whole trick that they did they did it with a four ounce oasis one so i only know that it works with oasis i don't know if it'll work with other brand holders so you just slide the bottom in so that it's upside down like this and you put the wire in and it's a bit hard to do with one hand so i'll be right back Okay, so this is what it should look like, and the wire keeps it like if your car shakes and it hits the wire, it'll just keep it from falling out. And this is good if you have a bit of a bigger cage and you want to leave the water bottle in it, so you could just flip it over later when you stop or something. Um, and you, the reason you, can, you can't do this with an 8 ounce water bottle is because if you look, the bottle extends over the top of this, which is where the basically where the top of the cage would be, so the cage wouldn't be able to close if the, your water bottle was like this. But with an 8 ounce one, the 8 ounce ones hang like the tips would be probably like right about here and there still be room for the cage top to close. But see, if you do this, um, and I try and put this lid on, it doesn't doesn't close so you can only do this with a four ounce one but this is a cool little trick that you can do if you do happen to have that small of a water bottle and if you see here my pants and foot are wet because they do leak while they're doing this because you're jiggling them up and down which is what it'd be doing in the car if you were just leaving it hanging down and so finally what you want to do with your travel cage is give them a bit of bedding it's not a lot of bedding but just a bit. They won't be burrowing much, but I have mixed a little bit of food and hay into the bedding so they can have a little bit of foraging fun, you know. And it's not that much. It's maybe like an inch, if that. It's maybe like three quarters of an inch. Like right here, it's maybe an inch right there. And it's just so that they can burrow a little bit. And then finally, you need one of these lids. Uh, most aquariums do come with these lids. Well, like reptile terrariums come with these lids. And yeah, and in case for some reason you're wondering, that's my old Girl Scout vest. Yeah, I don't know why I just told you guys that. Oh, and that's my homecoming dress right there. That pink one, the pink and black one. Anyways, so then it has these clips on the sides. The reptile terrariums come with them. And you want to just take it and hook it below the little thing of plastic so that it looks like this and it's secure. So and you want to do that to the other one so that it's also secure 
And then if you notice, if the car rattles or they jump, the I can't lift the lid off. So this is what it looks like shut or like locked, I guess. And then ah, this is what it looks like open. It's not really attached. So you always want to make sure you do this when you're going traveling or you might actually want to do this anyways because they tend to jump a lot. So in your regular aquarium, you want to do this because I know that some people who don't, their dribbles have jumped and knocked the lid off like that. So then their dribbles have like climbed up on something and crawled out. So an alternative to this coconut would be maybe something like this. It came my um, house, this one, this wooden one came with this second story and this ladder leading up to the second story. Um, I took the ladder out because they didn't use it and I took this out because they were nesting in it but only one was and that's bad for them because female dribbles all have to nest together. Like all dribbles tend to but if female dribbles nest separately that's really bad. And I used to have this in here, this one in this aquarium thing as their like sleeping thing but it turned out to be too big and they were chewing on it and I wanted to keep this as like a spare thing in case they destroy their wooden one that they have in there now so I'm just keeping this as a spare and then but this is something if you have a bigger cage you might, a bigger spare cage you could use this something of the size and this ladder is actually okay because if I press it up if I take out the coconut and I put this in here it takes up about the same amount of space and they can burrow underneath it and What's kind of cute is that you can see inside it, so you can kind of see them while they're nesting. So, yeah. So that's just two, these are just two other options you could use. And in case for some reason you're wondering, the house that I use is, I think it's called like a block house by Trixie Hendrix. Um, I will tell you guys now that it is a German brand. They sell it at P Today's Pet, which is... Um, I think a place that's only located in uh, Columbia, Maryland, but I just like it because it has really thick wood. I don't know if you guys can find anywhere else you can buy it online. It is a German brand, so you probably won't be able to understand anything on it. I can because I do take German, but I think that, I think that there were English translations on mine. I don't know, but... Yeah, so this is a block house, like B-L-O-K-H-A-U-S, like that's German. So, yeah. Bye, guys.